This Mass is offered for the following intentions. Thanksgiving to the Sacred Heart of Jesus on the wedding anniversary of Cheryl and Bob. Birthday blessings for Michelle de Costa, Chrisanne Peso, Jessica de Souza, Suzanne Pinto, Neil Quinney, and Marianne de Souza, Kylan and Kenny, Vivian Lawrence. Birthday remembrance of Agnello Matthews. Good health and well being of the de Souza and Saldana families. For the well being of the Simmons, Birds, Pereira and de Souza family. For the souls of Abigail de Souza, Joe and Esmeralda Dias, Serena Mascarenas, Brian Manuel de Souza, the deceased members of the Fernandez and Coelho families, Lloyd Coelho, Yoma Fernandez, Clement and Mary Matthews, Philomena and Paul Crasto, Agnello and Amelia Raymond, Morgan Gonzalez, and Francis Dias. How I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let's go up to God's house today. Here we are in Jerusalem, city of the living God. Enter his course with songs of praise, enter his gates with thanks. He is our Lord, he is our God, honor and bless his name. How I rejoice when I heard them say, Let's go up to God's house today. Here we are in Jerusalem, city of the living God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all and with your spirit. Gather around the Eucharistic table. Let us praise and thank the Lord for his blessings and graces and seek pardon and forgiveness for all our sins. I confess, I confess Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly great sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, in, my words, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do through my, my fault, through my fault. Through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father, bring we pray to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord, which I am commanding you today for your good? Behold, to the Lord your God belong heaven, and the heaven of heavens, the earth with all that is in it. Yet the Lord set his heart in love on your father, and chose their offspring after them. You, above all peoples, 
as you are this day. Circumcise, therefore, the foreskin of your heart, and be no longer stubborn. For the Lord your God is God of gods, and Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God, who is not partial and takes no bribe. He executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the sojourner, giving him food and clothing. Love the sojourner, therefore, for you were sojourners in the land of Egypt. You shall fear the Lord your God. You shall serve him and hold fast to him, and by his name you shall swear. He is your praise. He is your God who has done for you these great and terrifying things that your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down to Egypt seventy persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars of heaven. The Word of the Lord Our response is, O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. Kindly listen to the tune. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. All together. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. O Sion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Together. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. He established peace on your borders. He gives you your fill of finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. Together. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. He reveals his word to Jacob, to Israel, his decrees and judgments. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his judgments. Together. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. God has called us through the gospel to obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, as the disciples were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is about to be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and he will be raised on the third day. And they were greatly distressed. When they came to Caperna, the tax collectors of the two drachma tax went up to Peter and said, does your teacher not pay the tax? He said, Yes. And when he came into the house, Jesus spoke to him first, saying, What do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or tax? From their sons or from others? And when he said, From others, Jesus said to him, Then the sons are free. However, not to give offense to them, Go to the lake and cast a book, and take the first fish that comes up, and when you open its mouth, you will find a shekel. Take that and give it to them, for me and for yourself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In our first reading today, we find Moses outlining everything that the Israelites have to pay attention to because they are following God. 
And in this outline, he speaks about their journey from Egypt into the Promised Land and how the Lord has accompanied them and given them everything that is required for their sustenance and nourishment. Of course, we know that the people of Israel were ungrateful. They grumbled very often and they found fault. But the Lord was always faithful. In the same way, the Lord is faithful to all of us who believe in Him, who worship Him, who pray to Him. And even at times when we feel that God is far away from us and we seem to lose hope, God never gives up on us because He loves us and is merciful. We thank the Lord today for always being present with us, even in our moments of difficulty and struggle. Amen. Simple gifts we bring before the table of God. Simple gifts we offer as a present to God. They are a sign of our lives which now we give to you, O Lord. Please consecrate and make them good. Simple gifts we bring before the table of God. Breath that speaks of hunger wine that tells of our thirst just a sign that we want to sacrifice some food and drink to let the starving feel your love let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice from the hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father creator of the world and source of all life for you never forsake the works of your wisdom but by your providence are even now at work in our midst with mighty hand and outstretched arm you led your people israel through the desert now as your church makes a pilgrim journey to the world you always accompany her by the power of the holy spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Jesus Christ. And so with the angels and saints, we do sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once the disciples are now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, the 
they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the last supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this song, we proclaim your death to Lord until you come again. Therefore, Holy Fathers, we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross in the glory of the resurrection and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion, and so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, with all the bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known, Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have done the mind, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our active spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And, and I, I desire, desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Walk with me, O oh my Lord, through the darkest night and brightest day. Be at my side, O oh Lord, hold my hand and guide me on my way. Sometimes the road seems long, my energy is spent. Then, Lord, I think of you, and I am given strength. Walk with me, O oh my Lord, through the darkest night and brightest day. Be at my side, O oh Lord, hold my hand and guide me on my way. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for holding our hand and guiding us on our way. We thank you for our, your presence in our lives, especially in our moments of struggle and difficulty. We surrender ourselves into your hands, all our plans, all our needs, all our worries and anxieties. And we know, Lord, that you give us comfort and strength to face the challenges of life. Nourished by this Eucharist, may we also bring joy to others, especially those who are vulnerable and weak, and those who have no one to care for them. May your spirit of healing, Lord, touch them through us. We ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me. The foxes have their holes, the birds their nest, but I have not a place to take my rest. If you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me.